trying to get my Cosmos in view. Here they are. <laughs> so anyway, quite a lot's been going on down here. Um, I've changed quite a few things around. So I'll show you what's been going on. First of all, the sweet corn have gone. So what I've put in its place are a few yellow courgettes, which I started a few weeks ago and they're already getting quite big. So I'm hoping I may get some still and it's not too late. I just thought I'd give it a go. And then here I've got some more butternut squash and possibly a melon over there. Sort of, yeah. um, just my little sunflowers. I mean, they are doing so well. Got multiple heads going on them. Um, and on this side, I've kind of made this a bit of a vinery sort of thing, really. Um, more butternut squash, cucumbers, which we're getting a bit dry really so I've kind of got rid of the dead leaves and I'm hoping it's going to carry on doing well because we've got cucumber just here. Over here I discovered a watermelon growing but the problem is it's on such, I mean it's a strong but it's such a thin little bit of vine that that is all that's feeding it and all the um, leaves were really badly sort of brown and dead so I've removed them so I'm hoping it's going to grow some more to feed it otherwise not not sure what will happen with this little thing but bless it it's so small it's about the size of a tennis ball um, and as we go around here um, I've kind of this is butternut squash and curry squash uh, the curry squash finished because I had quite a large harvest out of them but if you have a little look you can see I've got one here, I've got another one there growing, and another one here, which might have combined itself with a butternut squash. It looks a bit different. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, being down here is you're constantly meeting new people, and everyone's just so nice. And um, I've just met somebody that I've not seen before that's down in the corner, and we were just having a chat, and he just complimented my clocks so while I was really pleased. Um, down here, I think these could be melon again. <laughs> I don't know what they are. But these are baby boo pumpkins just down here that I've planted out. And these are like a really small white pumpkin. Um, so we've got butternut squash along here. To show you, it's quite a big one, this one. I've got um, another one, but it actually broke off the stalk, so I'm going to have to take it home to ripen. Um, so in here, I have rescued some chilli plants. One of them was given to me from my friend over the plot and then I found a few on his compost heap that weren't properly dead. So I've planted them. So we've got this one, um, this one over here, this little one. It's got loads of seeds going here. Um, we've got purple climbing bees, um, some more parsnips. We've got Japanese winter onions. Um, garlic chives, turnips, cabbages, uh, cauliflowers, a couple of watermelon in there, uh, red onions, spinach, lettuce, chard, all sorts. So I can never have enough plants and I want to keep it going through the winter. But also what I'd like to show you today is that um, my pointy peppers have started to to change colour. Excuse my hands. Um, I've not had much luck so far because they keep getting like a blossom end rot type thing, but these ones are looking good. So we've got those, and then the chilies over here are starting to go quite yellow. So that's the first colour change. Um, I grew chilies last year and they didn't do very well, so. Um, they didn't get any chilies at all, they just stayed like a really small plant. But these are doing so well. And these are quite big. Uh, I've got cucumber climbing around here. I've had so many tomatoes. Two days, I would say I'm picking one and a half to two kilos of tomatoes. Um, and they're still coming. I water them probably every other day or every couple of days <laughs> cucumber there. and there's just so many and the courgettes are doing very well they kind of finished for a little bit had a little breather and now 
they're coming back again with a vengeance so we've got a lot of those going on i'm gonna pick a few of those these are nice because i pick them when they're small and then they're easier to use and they're much sweeter as well and i've been using them in a lot of like pasta dishes and pasta sauces i've been making pasta sauce with a lot of tomatoes um which has been delicious um i'll try and attach a picture of some of my recipes that i've been making um and you can have a look so these are what i've picked today i deliberately pick them when they're quite underripe because within a day or so they're bright red um i've got a lot at home that are green as well that um came off somebody else's that got dumped so I thought I'd rescue them and ripen them at home anyway they're very nice the, the yellow tomatoes are also really nice but they're not as sweet as the red but they complement each other nicely in the sauces I've been making this is the one that was already broken off when I came to it so I'm gonna have to ripen that one at home because obviously that's not ready yet uh, these are the yellow tomato plants. I've just been saving some cosmos heads that I've been deheading plants um, and some sunflowers. They're actually really heavy, like don't realise the weight of them when they're on the plant. So when you take one off, it's <laughs> quite a lot of weight you've taken off. This is the artichoke. It's massive. I don't think it's time to dig them up yet. I read that it was about November time. I've never grown them before. Um, I've got a few sunflowers in there as well. And oh, the blackberries. The blackberries are just starting now. So I'm guessing they're like an autumn black. Um, I think they're a tabery, somebody said. So that's kind of what's been happening here. The beans. Well, I thought the beans were going to have a second go because of the flowers, but nothing's really happening yet. I think they're not too sure because the weather's been a bit strange. Just before I go, over in the raised beds, I pulled up some of the spinach beet because, to be honest, I'm just not eating it really. And it was getting so big, making everything look untidy. And I've swapped the tunnels, um, which were on the raised beds, just because it's easier like this anyway so I've planted out some purple spring onions and carrots along here I've got some other salads that are still growing in here and these are all parsnips and I've got some tarragon in there and some more carrots and then this one it's just kale a few parsnips and then in the center I've got a couple of courgettes in there see how they go and um, I've got leeks over there and cabbages and these are my runner beans, which are still producing runner beans. They're obviously slower, but you can see they're getting flower, more flowers again. Um, and then just at the end here. Oh, it's getting earlier then. This was meant to be a petty pan, but <laughs> looks more like I better not squash this one. Maybe it is. These two are petty pan interesting to see what that turns into anyway i'm going to leave you with a lovely view of my cosmos and sunflowers and i shall speak to you next time